Hey guys, this is Steve from CyberDoc. Um, today I'm just going to show you how to replace the screen digitizer on the iPhone 5. First off, you want to remove the two pentalo screw on the bottom of right here. And we have this amazing product, this um, magnet for the screws, so where you don't lose them when you disassemble them. Actually, it's waterproof, it's magnetized. I already took off the two pentalo scoop on the bottom, as you can see right here. And it stays on it pretty, pretty good. It doesn't slide off, even if you move the magnet. Alright, let's continue. Um, for the iPhone 5, they designed it almost like the 3GS, where it's you remove the screen from the front instead of comparing to the iPhone 4 and 4S where you have to take off the back and take off everything. So uh, first, I also have this pry tool. I find it very useful for iSesimal. You can also find this on Amazon <laughs> or on our website at cyber.lsc.com. So at first glance, you kind of want to get the pry tool in between the rubber and the aluminum shell. So that's pry it open. When you do this, you gotta try and be careful not to go too deep to damage the wiring on the bottom or anything. And when you, after you got it open, you're gonna have to try and keep it at an angle so it doesn't rip off the um, the connectors or the ribbon cables on the top. All right, now you get your Phillips screws. There's three screws holding the metal pa panel for the connectors, so let's do that. I have this position t tweezer to remove the panel. Just be gentle, you don't want to damage anything on the bottom. Set that aside. And we have, we usually prefer to use a uh, plastic pry tool to remove the connectors solely because you don't want to short anything while you're removing the connectors and there's three connectors for the screen there's one that's for the LCD this is for the digitizer and for the light sensor and proxy sensor alright now you got it for this video, we also gonna remove the proxy sensor and the home button because the or the screen we ordered it did not come with any of it. So let's do that. For this, the magnet also is very useful. I also show point out all the screws that it requires to take it off to put uh, to take off the proxy light sensor and the home button. And this whole piece should come off relatively easy because of the little glue. Set that aside. And the proxy sensor.
Now let's remove the screws on the side. There's one, two, three, and four on the side of the frame to hold the sensor in place. And there's also one on the bottom right here. After you've taken that off, the whole thing should come apart pretty easily. And you're gonna try and remove this as gentle as possible. It's just held together by glue. We're gonna try and keep the glue on so we can reuse it. Otherwise, if you have any double sided tape, it will work as well. Alright, let's set the old screen aside for a second before we remove the home button. Let's put this on. Uh, you wanna rip off the plastic piece. this back on you're gonna want to match the proxy sensor right on the hole where it's supposed to be otherwise your proxy meter might not work I want to get this plastic piece in as well, which the screen didn't come with any of this. Okay, so let's get the camera in. sticks come on in its place speaker okay if that is in you want to put the rest of them back on
so let's put the metal shelving back on. Relatively easy. Screws on the sides first. And the last one on the bottom. All right, now once the metal casing is back in, you want to put the proxy sensor back on. Lock it in place. And the casing. Hold all of them together. Now I have successively transferred the proxy sensor and the speaker from camera from the old screen to the new. And now the home, home button. Home button, there is a bunch of sticker right under it after these two screws. So let's go ahead and remove the, these two screws. Remove the metal plating and the home buttons basically stick onto the board. I mean, the screen. It's held together by glue. So be careful when you try and remove this. You don't want to damage it if you don't, if your new screen doesn't come with one. And you also want the button itself. So this whole thing is held by this rubber um, piece glued onto this LCD screen. So you kind of want to remove a little bit by a little bit. And if your screen is shattered like mine, be careful about glass shards. Coming off pretty easily. All right, a little dirty right here. Just coming off. And little pieces of glass. back center it and just press down for the glue to glue it back up 
and we want to match the plate to the holes and just screw the little sensor back down. And after you put on these two screws, you're done transferring the home button and the light sensor from camera to the new screen. From then on, it's a breeze. Alright, and we have no use for the old screen anymore. Garbage. And back to the board. When you, at any time when you're trying to change any screen on any iPhones or iPads or iPods, you gotta make sure do not touch the power button. If you're too lazy like me to disconnect the battery from the main board. So just be careful. You might short it some um, backlight chip or filters in the back. Alright, we're going to try and put these three connectors back in. And remember, these ribbon cable are made relatively short. So you need to keep it at an angle where you don't break the ribbon or anything. So let's put the first one back on. Let's take this off. No need for that anymore. And be gentle when you're trying to press the connector back into its place. But you want to make sure it's all the way in. And that should do it. And now we need to put the metal plate back on. On that side there's a little um, clip that you want to click it back in. Match the holes. Take the screws. Alright, and when you're closing the phone, make sure you got the top. It has two plastic clips right on top right here. You want to make sure the clips goes in all the way in before you start pressing the phone down. So let's get that as close as possible to the aluminum casing. And when you're pressing it down, you want to distribute your distribute all the weight at the same time on all parts at this so you won't crack the glass or anything Since there's a little gap, so we didn't put it big in enough. Let's see. And snap back in. Looks okay. All right. 
and there it is. Thank you, thank you guys for watching. We'll put on more videos about the 5C and 5S as soon as we can. Hey. Peace out.